Hello beautiful people and welcome back to another lovely makeup with me, Moya Lovely. And you guys need to know that your makeup artist is not just doing your makeup. Like especially if it's bridal, a, a good makeup artist is going to be helping you put on earrings, putting on dresses, fixing hair, and all that. And if you know, you know. But anyways, let's get into this look. Alright, so as always, we're gonna start by cleansing the face. But I want you guys to listen to this. So yes guys, I have been doing makeup artistry for over 8 years now because I did makeup before I even did her face so this is the initial look that I did for her wedding oh my god it's so surreal but yeah I'm cleaning up her brows and yeah but back to the story it's like so surreal to be realizing how long I've been in this industry I have not been pushing a lot or whatever yes I started in bridal because I really love bridal because as you guys may have noticed I'm very into soft glam um, but I've been focused on the everyday um, clientele recently because it's a little bit easier with being a stay home mom and stuff. Um, but yeah, I want to get back into bridal. So if you have somebody you know getting married, let them link me up. Let them hit me up for the packages and all that. Now I'm moisturizing the skin or prepping the skin with some skincare i'm using you guys know the gist the hyal hy um no that's a nurse i might buy good molecules and then i'm gonna move on to the brows brows today i'm using the milani um retractable pencil and the clean color pencil to cover her brows and create a shape you realize from when i was sh i'm shaping them up they're a bit thin and sparse so we're gonna really highlight them and so I did at the end put a little bit of um, strokes with the Milani brow pen um, at the end of this video you'll see that um, but yeah it's so surreal to be doing her face once again she doesn't do makeup that often but she definitely supports as you guys just saw what, or heard what she said like when she's doing her face, she's coming to Moya Love because she knows that Moya Love is going to have her coming out the chair looking beautiful. Just beautiful. Lovely, lovely doll. Okay? Okay, so I did apply a little bit of the hair stroke here initially, but while doing the foundation, my director um, removed, so I had to do it back at the end to make sure those hair-like strokes are there to bring dimension to the eyebrows. Now I'm cleaning up the eyebrows, the lower portion of the eyebrows with the lighter concealer. Um, I don't remember which concealer. No, I think this is... Yeah, LA Girl Concealer and I'm bringing it down to the lids to kind of neutralize the lids and a little bit like a primer even though I'm going to use primer again um, so I'm just carving out the brows the lower portion of the brows with a concealer brush
All right, so now I'm moving on to the eyes, and I'm applying a dark navy blue, almost looking black um, shade, and it's my, I think it's from MAC, um, to the outer portions of the eyes. Um, I'm creating a V like shape with that, and then bringing it down in the inner corner of the eyes to really define her eye shape. So here I'm just taking a clean brush and I'm blending that with a little bit of brown on the in the crease and blending out the blue a lot more. And you guys know the gist by now. I'm using my Derma Brilliant um, foundation sample to prime the lids and for the next step so that the pigment and the color will stand out. Alright, so I'm applying a silvery champagne color, it's like a mixture, onto the lid now and I'm going to blend that into the blue in the outer corner of the eyes. Alright, so you guys can see I'm defining the brow bone here with some concealer. I'm doing this to bring back or bring down that shade that we blended in the outer portion of the eyes. I'm using this fluffy brush to really blend it in so it's not just there. I could just put it as, as an afterthought. And then I'm going to take a light brown to set that um, concealer that we applied and we're doing this to define or redefine the eyes as you can see the, sh the blue shape is more contoured I'm really blending out all of these pigments and colors together and I'm doing this with a clean brush this is a part that you guys generally don't see um, but it's a part of the process and then I'm gonna clean up her on the eyes because we have a bit of fallout and now I'm priming her eyes I'm using the elf power grip and a little bit of um, the Becca Primer on the nose area um, and then we're going to get right into the foundation. I really appreciate persons like this who see the craft and see the talent and see it the effort that I put in my clients and come back even after what eight years because I, I really have I don't think I've done her face since her wedding because she's not really a makeup person very special occasion that she wears makeup 
um but yeah i really appreciate um clients like that and friends and family members and co-workers like that because yeah yeah um but yeah we are applying foundation now i'm using hair i believe it's hazelnut black black opal in the center of her face and then i'm gonna use black walnut around her face to define her face and essentially low light or contour her face um yeah and you guys don't mind my time this was just a work get work with me video where it was impromptu i did not really set up set up like i normally do where i'm not so much in the frame on the camera but yeah i really enjoyed um doing her face again i really love this look i hope you guys love the end results let me know in the comments um down below what you think here i'm actually doing the spencer from tiktok conceal set and go um process so i'm concealing her under eyes right now and i'm ensuring that i'm blending um it's all in properly i i used a la girl concealer i think it's a cool tan no comment on that it's either cool tan or fawn um but because it doesn't look as yellow as fawn i think it's a cool tan um and i'm really blending it in with my sponge and here i'm using the brush to make sure everything is blended around the concealer And I want to say congratulations again to Camille um, graduating from Michael a big change in life being a teacher now and I hope you wish you the best in your new career um, I know it's not easy being a teacher especially in our climate right now um, so we, we were having a good talk about the school system and catching up on life and since she's been married and kids we've seen each other but we haven't gotten to really talk in a while especially since covid and stuff um but yeah it was nice um see, doing her face again like i love the outcome like she was gorgeous I wish I had this kind of talent even though her makeup on her wedding day wasn't bad really um, but I wish I had this kind of talent for her for her wedding day but yeah we have to improve and we, I definitely see the improvements in my style and technique um, here you see I'm doing the baking process I did the set process with the Milani um, rich beige pressed powder and and then I did the baking after so it's conceal set and bake yeah and if you're on tiktok you know what I'm talking about all the tiktok girls are doing it now I'm setting her foundation um with a foundation powder and making sure everything is well blended All right, so now I'm applying blush, and I really love this blush by Milani. It's red vino. If you know it, it's a nice deep maroon kind of color with gold um, running through it, so it gives a bit of sheen to the cheeks. And then I'm highlighting her cheeks as well. Uh, I'm using my, um, I think it's Becca. I don't remember don't cut me on that and then I'm lining her on the eyes um quick tip for new um, makeup artists always have sponges like these 
the ones that you can grip your finger on it's great for when you have done the foundation and you're doing small things to the face the eyes or whatever you can just put put it on your pinky and it can for you to not have fingerprints transfer of product or anything like that onto the base that you just did especially if you haven't set as yet now I'm doing her lower lash line after I put the black I'm gonna put some of the brown that I use in the crease a little bit of the blue as well and kind of marinate that together or blend that together um, to really highlight her lower lash line here I decided that I really don't love the silvery color on her as much it wasn't making her eyes puff and you see as I put that it's more of a sh uh, light pink you see her eyes really really transform and it really pops some more I really am happy that I did that change because it really highlighted her eyes a lot more and I know her her graduation pitch pictures are gonna be bomb um so yeah I love it I really really do small changes um, made a big difference so um, next we're moving to the lips it's a very simple nude lip I'm using a Milani retractable pencil to remember the shade and then I'm gonna be using a Milani um, I think it's the Amore brand of lip paints and stuff like that to for the base of the color and all of that but yeah this is the final look and all of that oh here I'm using a Giordano um, pencil I, it's very dark it's a dark brown and I use that to define the lips some more and then I'm going to use concealer you're going to see I use concealer that's a tip as well concealer to really define the the lips and all that I really love this lip on her as well it complemented the look so well Instagram book your sessions today and I hope you guys enjoy this. This is why I love this signing out and remember to wear the best to you for the world to see.